If you have an aspiring gymnast at your house, chances are good your family has been among the record-breaking crowds cheering on the University of Utah women's gymnastics team and their legendary coach, Megan Marston. A former NCAA all-around champion herself, Megan led the Ute gymnastic team to four national championships before transitioning from competitor to coach. She's now in her ninth season as co-head coach of the Utah Red Rocks, a gymnastics dynasty that she helped build alongside her husband, retired coach Greg Marsden. She's a woman we wanted to get to know a little bit better. So I sat down with Megan at her home. She's quick-witted, funny, and all around likable. Even in casual conversation, you pick up on her naturally competitive vibe, someone who packs a lot of passion into her five foot and one and a half inch frame. Stand up. Better, better. If we feel like we're a little off, let's do this rather than hop. Before she became coach Megan Marsden, she was Megan McCunnock, the athlete. A 12-time first-team All-American gymnast who led Utah to four straight national championships from 1981 to 1984. A Utah favorite for sure, but not a native. Megan was born in the Midwest and grew up with her parents and two younger brothers in the small town of Cedar Falls, Iowa. I did grow up ice skating on ponds in people's backyards. They'd just spray their hose and make a pond because in Iowa, it's really cold. <laughs> Based in a family of athletes, it was clear from a young age that Megan had a love for gymnastics. I started doing cartwheels on the ice and my mom could see that it wasn't going to be ice skating. I liked whipping. <laughs> <laughs> so we moved on over to gymnastics. By age seven, Megan says she began entering gymnastic meets and winning medals. I loved it and I was pretty good at it. Megan credits her mom and dad for making sure she got to all her practices and for working with other families to raise money and build a gymnastics club in her hometown. If I had not had that, uh, I don't know that I would have ever reached a level with my gymnastics that would have allowed me an opportunity here at the University of Utah. An opportunity that started with a phone call from then head coach Greg Marsden and launched Megan's legendary history with the University of Utah gymnastics program. Greg recruited me sight unseen from my little town in Iowa and I was a little scared. I'd never been to Salt Lake City. I didn't know the University of Utah. I didn't know any of the girls and my parents drove me out here in my dad's, you know, paneling on the side station wagon <laughs> um, on I-80 all the way from <laughs> Iowa through those mountains and the closer we got the more exciting it got for all three of us. It was a leap of faith that Megan says changed her life in many ways. A year later, Greg and I began dating, and a year later we got engaged, and then a year before my senior year we got married. And I know in this day and age that's a little bit of a touchy topic, but back then, I mean, for anybody that's old enough to remember, those things could happen and happen naturally and not be considered scandalous. It could truly be just two people falling in love. Two people who not only fell in love and raised a family, but who shared a huge passion for gymnastics. I feel fortunate that was a time when that could happen for us because it's been incredible things ever since. When does the sun shine the brightest for you? So times with my boys definitely, like many mothers, they're, they're the important things. Um, it becomes even more obvious to me now as they become adult and my time with them is not right underfoot. I've been so lucky to have them close by and we um, do family dinners. <sighs> okay. Family dinners on Sunday nights and uh, I feel lucky that they um, are nearby to do that and those those are some of my happiest times and and dogs um, dogs make me happy <laughs> uh, I am a, a puppy dog lover there's a group on campus called labs for liberty and some of the people that are raising a dog for a veteran a, a, a Labrador um, would play with their labs in front of my gym out in front of those windows on the grass and when they would come and there would be a Labrador puppy out there oh my gosh I would melt and sometimes I would bolt out the door right in the middle of practice <laughs> as you look back over your life is there a turn you took or a decision you've made that you think I'm so glad I did that or that I'm so glad I well, chose that well I'm so glad that I chose to come to the University of Utah I've been so lucky to get to be a part of such an incredible thing beyond my years as an athlete. Women wear a lot of hats, and maybe I'll take away the hat of mother. 
What is a hat you wear that you're really proud of? What I love about coaching is being able to teach some lessons about life through the sport of gymnastics. The flips, the twists, that all goes away. That None of that they can take with them. And that's my avenue to help these young women learn more about themselves, learn more about being incredible people and ready for the world after gymnastics. Oh, she is so good. It goes without saying, but she is so good at what she does. And prior to that interview, I've only had really quick blips with her here in the studio, two or three minute chats on camera. That was my first in-depth conversation with a woman who I was already intrigued with. And now I walked away being even more impressed by. One thing I love about Megan is her energy. It radiates off of her, her passion. And she said something interesting to me. She said her husband, they're alike in a lot of ways. They're different in a lot of ways. I think most couples can connect with that, those differences. But she said her husband will run at like 110% for a few days and then crash. But Megan says she tries to keep her energy consistent at like 92%. And so there's never those ups and downs. Her passion, her energy is very steady. I found that really inspiring personally. Anyway, she's a great, great person. And we thank her for opening up her home and her heart and spending that time with us. Megan says the goal now looking forward is working together with co-head coach Tom Farden to win a national championship. And we should note the Red Rocks open their 2018 season tonight at home at the Huntsman Center against Brigham Young University.